you know him, you love him, and you definitely can't get away from hearing him shout out his own name in every single song he's a part of. DJ Khaled has wormed his way into our ear holes, penetrated our brain, and infected us all with his catchy tunes and constant self-promotion. These days, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't part of our lives. Over the past two decades, music's most famous DJ has built a small empire for his family and enjoys the spoils of his riches, living like a king. I'm talking three multi-million dollar homes across both coasts of the continent of the United States. Plus, the man loves real estate so much he's willing to spend his free time promoting homes that aren't even his. DJ Khaled is an American Palestinian record producer, radio personality, DJ, record label executive, and author. At one point or another, this guy has really done it all, a pretty remarkable feat for a young man born to two Palestinian immigrants. Khaled's first job was working at a record store where he eventually met artists like Birdman and Lil Wayne, becoming a part of both of their breakthroughs into the music scene. Then Khaled started DJing gigs and gradually his own career began to gain momentum. Thanks not only to his musical career, but the tens of millions per year that he bangs from endorsements with companies like Weight Watchers, T-Mobile, Ciroc, Apple, and Dove Men. Asad, what are we gonna do? Wash your hands. Let me see, come on. All right. We the cleanest. Wash your hands, clean them up. Wash your hands, clean them up. Wash your hands, clean them up. to multitask by teaching us all about proper hygiene while cashing in big enough checks to afford the most luxurious of homes. He told Bel Air, I got better and started making a thousand dollars every week. From there, it kept getting better and better to the point where I was blessed enough to buy my first home. That's right, buying a home was the first major purchase that DJ Khaled made and he didn't do it on a whim. He'd been planning for it ever since he was very young. He continued, I've always been focused, even when I had just a little bread, if I knew it would cost $30,000 for a down payment on my first home, I went and got it. My mentality at that time as a young kid was so focused that I was thinking about buying a home. Wherever that first home was, it's long gone now having been updated a while ago. Today, Khaled is the proud owner of three homes, one in LA and two in Miami, all three of which had a down payment significantly higher than just 30,000. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're taking a look at the house of DJ Khaled here for you on Famous Entertainment. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. We've done house tours for all types of celebs like Billie Eilish and Lil Wayne and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as always let me know what type of videos you'd like to see next and if there are any other celebrity house tours you want to see. Now let's get into this video. DJ Khaled has called this beautiful place home since early 2017 when he bought it from Robbie Williams for $9.9 .9 million. It's located in Mulholland Estates, a gated community in Los Angeles. This 10,681 square foot mansion was built in 1992 and has 7 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms and is situated on nearly a full acre of land. Inside with its high ceilings, oversized rooms and endless entertaining areas, this is the epitome of Beverly Hills luxury. A grand two story entryway ushers guests into the living room. From there, they can make their way through the formal dining room, a gym and media room, all the way to the kitchen, which features two stoves, three ovens, a breakfast area, butler's pantry, and maid's quarters. On the second floor is a spacious master suite with a patio for lounging and taking in the stunning views overlooking the city, mountains, and canyons, and the hills of Beverly. There's also a two bedroom guest suite in addition to the four ensuite family bedrooms and even a recording studio located in the home just in case Khaled feels like working from home which is something we're all pretty comfortable with these days. Outside is a pool, spa, outdoor kitchen, living area, two terrace patios and a sprawling lawn just begging for some garden parties with all of Khaled's famous friends. As much time as Khaled spends on the west coast networking and running his empire, he's got a special place in his heart for Miami and that's where we're headed next to check out his two other homes. First up is the mansion that Khaled 
Khaled currently has in the market. He actually just lowered the price of this listing by $600,000, bringing it down to a fairly reasonable $5.9 million. This is the second price drop since Khaled placed a property on the market back in December of 2018. This three-story waterfront estate is ultra modern with its 6,697 square feet, located in the gated community of Island Estates in the suburb of Aventura. When Khaled originally listed the property, he was selling it for $7.99 million. Considering he only spent $3.84 million for it back in December of 2015, you might think that he's still looking to make a profit of the resale. But Khaled also dropped $2.5 million in remodels for the home, which means he's now looking to sell it at a loss. This Mediterranean style estate features five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and luxurious touches, including 14 karat gold chandeliers with Swarovski crystals, an elevator, granite staircase, wine room, chef's kitchen, and master suite with a sitting area and veranda offering a unique viewpoint of the glorious Miami skyline. Marble and walnut floors make a statement as they alternate throughout the interior. But perhaps the biggest selling point of all is Khaled's personally designed enormous walk-in shoe closet that can hold up to 500 pairs of sneakers. When you're finally tired of choosing your perfect shoe to complement your day, you can head outside to the lavish outdoor spaces which showcase a swimming pool. There's also a fire pit, grill, and breathtaking views of the nearby bay with 240 feet of water frontage and a 50 foot boat dock. The half acre of land also provides separate parking for cars and golf carts because let's face it, parking those two types of vehicles together is just wrong. Even more crazy, buying the mansion provides you with access to white glove amenities at Preve, an ultra luxury condo development on a private eight acre island. Preve consists of twin towers with a two story gym and spa, expansive pool deck with two swimming pools, a private beach and marina for yachts, a wine and cigar lounge, jogging trail, tennis court, playground, and about 70,000 square feet of indoor social spaces. Now I bet you're all thinking, why would he want to sell a place with perks like that? Well, because he just bought a new home on Miami Beach for a cool $25.7 million. This eye-popping property sits on about an acre of Miami Beach land with 105 feet of waterfront and a private dock on Indian Creek. The house itself measures in at 13,000 square feet, which is nearly double the amount of space of his previous home in Miami. It boasts five bedrooms between its two stories and plenty of amenities to boot. There's a private elevator, a home movie theater, and even a safe room in case things ever get hairy. Inside, you'll also find an expansive great room topped with Maru Wood Ceiling. A sleek dining room and kitchen anchored by an oversized island. mahogany draped master suite which opens up to a private balcony. Outside is an 80-foot swimming pool, a two-story gazebo with a winding staircase, and a cozy four-bedroom guest house, which at last count is about three more bedrooms than my own personal condo has. That's all right, I'm not bitter, as long as Khaled eventually invites me over to give that guest house a try. One last interesting point about this home is that its original owner was Michael Lerner, who bought the land for $5 million before building the house himself. Now, you're all probably wondering who, well, you might not recognize his name, but I guarantee you're familiar with his invention, the baby on board sign that's on like the back of every new parent's vehicle. That little decal really built an empire. Finally, before we go, I thought I'd let you guys in on one last interesting fact when it comes to DJ Khaled and real estate. Apparently trying to sell his own home for two years isn't a difficult enough task. He's also taking on a real estate sponsorship. In the past, he's added his name to luxury listing in Hibiscus Island, Miami, where he's used his social media influence to help promote a $34.5 million mega mansion. For those of you keeping track at home, that's almost $10 million more than Khaled spent on his own place. Khaled gave all of his fans a sneak peek at what it's like inside the mansion with retractable walls that can make the inside, the outside, and back again. This daycation was all part of a marketing campaign with luxury brokerage one saw the beat. They're looking to continue the trend with other high profile celebrities spending a day or two in their high end listings. That brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments down below which of these homes you'd want to live in if you had the choice. Honestly, they all sound amazing to me, but how could you pass up a place that has its own private 8 acre island to meet up with all your famous friends at? Khaled might be trying to offload that property, but that's the one that would have my vote. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.